in the Heritage Conference? Oh, you know, I, th I think it still, I think it goes in cycles. Uh, you know, you have your athletes years and there's years that, uh, you know, you don't have the athletes, it's pretty tough. But uh, we feel we've turned it around pretty much. Uh, you know, Danny was a big part of uh, our success, but uh, again, you go into last year, uh, you know, I feel it comes down to offense and defensive lines, and uh, we've been pretty successful uh, building up some, some good lines, and uh, uh, I think that's where what happened last year. I think uh, uh, we had kids that uh, played for three years for us on that line, and uh, uh, they dominated up front, and that's where the game is played, I feel. This year, maybe a a smaller team size wise how how tough is that going to be to uh to compensate uh on friday nights oh you know i i think it's uh real tough not having uh that size uh we're we're really going to miss that this year uh, uh like i said the last few years uh, we've had some nice size uh been able to just get some yardage even if there's uh not much there but bring 11 guys up in the line of scrimmage, we were still able to get a few yards. But uh, when you don't have that size, it makes things tough. Uh, we feel we're pretty uh, uh, fortunate to have some athletic kids uh, in the backfield. Uh, but uh, again, it's going to come down to our offense and defensive line. Give me one quick second. Hey, Ashley. Uh, why don't you get Coach Malicki from uh, Marion Center, and uh, we'll start with them. OK. Hi, Ashley. Um, because the team it might be smaller, does that mean it's a little quicker than uh, than previous teams, and maybe a little more versatile? You have the ability to uh, to to have a you know, a quicker offense that might be elusive. Yeah, you know, uh, we feel that we will be a little quicker. Uh, some guys with not that size, but uh, we still have some pretty good strength with those guys and uh, quickness, so uh, we're hoping that uh, comes out to uh, be good for us. And uh, uh, we have some pretty quick kids in the backfield, so maybe they can hit the holes quicker. <laughs> uh, it, it seems like you know, the last couple of years, you know, one of the, and, and you alluded to this, one of the strengths was uh, having that experience and, and having uh, guys who had played for two, three years on the varsity level. Uh, this year, maybe not as much experience. And I, I guess, what is what is it like to coach a team that doesn't have the type of experience? And uh, what, what do you have to do as a coach to get them prepared uh, for games that they haven't played in without getting to play in a game before week one? Yeah, we we don't have a lot of experience, uh, you know, besides uh, Brandon Alder on the offensive line coming back and, uh, um, you know, Bailey Mumo on the backfield. Uh, we're, uh, you know, we, we just haven't had much experience besides playing JVs. And, uh, you know, we tried to play a good JV program last year and uh, got some uh, experience there. But uh, uh, I feel that we have a real good uh, coaching staff, assistant coaches that have really worked hard and, uh, you know, that they've really been uh, getting these kids to come to practice. They've been showing up and working hard and, uh, um, you know, uh, I think it all comes down to uh, the dedication and commitment that they put into it and uh, we feel that they've been doing that. Do you do anything different in camp uh, when you're dealing with uh, uh a team that's not as experienced as teams you've had before? Uh, we've been basically working on the same things, but uh, you know, it's just going to take some time. We're green and uh, just, uh, you know, it's going to be one of those years that uh, hopefully we get better every week.